Hello. In this video I wanted to talk to you about wireless connectors and how we can use them in UltraX to tidy up our workflows. Now these are a relatively new feature in UltraX, um, probably going back to, to version 8 they first came in. Um, and they're very useful. So I've got a module here. It's a, it's a module I've been using to clean up some, some JSON data. And as you can see, there's, it's a bit spaghetti. We've got some crossing of things here where I'm doing a dynamic rename and this join just here has just got a bit bit spaghetti like really. I'm not I'm not too happy with the layout. So what I'm going to do is use wireless connectors just to clean that up. To use wireless connectors is is to remove these uh, these lines between the modules and, and make them wireless. Let's show you what I mean. So if I want to remove this flow just here into my right hand side for the for the rename I can come in here come to my navigation button which is this target button within the, the left hand pane of my properties window and we've got this wireless option on the right so I can choose the uh, the outgoing part of of my filter that's going into the dynamic rename so outgoing into dynamic rename to be wireless as you can see that's altered this to a faint blue line and we've got these wireless indicators now so if I click off that tool that join's gone away to get it back I can just click on it and see where that wireless connector is going likewise if I click on this side I can see where that's going if I want to do that again I can come down here I can click on this module, come back to my navigation. I probably perhaps want to tidy up all these links because they're, they're all a little bit messy. So um, I'm going to come in here. I've got, I want to make my wireless join, my out, three outgoing options. So my three just here, all wireless. Click on those. Those will all disappear. I want to see where they're going. Again, I can click on these modules and get them back. If I want to turn them back on, I can just come in here and untick that option and they'll be back. So really, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll agree, it's a really nice way of just tidying up those modules. That immediately looks a lot better than, than the module I had before. Slightly less easy to understand. Um, because you need to follow those links around but as long as you don't overuse it and only use it in the right instances then then it, it can be really useful so have a play with that um, and and use it to keep your modules tidy i hope you like that tip stay tuned for for more tips